Hey guys, Deal Games here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use a program called Open Broadcaster Software, or OBS, to record your gameplay. Now you probably hear Open Broadcaster Software and think, Broadcaster, shouldn't that have something to do with streaming? And the answer is, while the program is built around streaming, it also gives you the option to record to only a local file. With this program, you can create very similar files to those that you would produce with Fraps or DXStory, so it's a very good solution if you don't want to pay for either of those two programs. When you first open the program, you'll see this interface here, and it may be a little intimidating because, frankly, the interface for it isn't that great yet, but it's always getting better, and it is, of course, open source. So what we're going to want to do first is go to Settings. Here you can uh, mess around with all this stuff and change it as you need to. In the encoding section, you can edit all these values to your heart's content, uh, though if you don't really know what you're doing with this stuff, I wouldn't recommend doing any of that. My max bitrate is set to 800 kilobits a second, uh, but yours will probably be higher because my bandwidth isn't the greatest, so I had to reduce that quite a bit. It's the broadcast settings section that we need to worry most about, and what we want to do is change the mode from live stream to file output only. And you can see here, I already have a file path selected in d slash videos slash youtube slash test dot mp4. I'm not going to set up any hotkeys because uh, I'm just going to use the front panel interface. Apply your changes, yes I would. In the video section, you can edit all this stuff as you need. And we're going to set the base resolution to 1280 by 720. And we want the scaling at non. We don't want to disable arrow uh, unless your PC really needs to do that because it's not powerful enough. You want to set your FPS to 30 because YouTube won't take 60 FPS video anyway. Yes, apply my changes. In the audio section, you can allow both your desktop audio or your system audio to be recorded along with your microphone. You can set up all this stuff if you want to. I just have my speakers and microphone set up. In the advanced tab, there's a bunch more stuff you can edit if you know what you're doing. I don't even know what a lot of this stuff does, so I'm not going to mess with any of this. But if you do know what you're doing, by all means, go ahead. And then in the microphone noise gate section, what you can do here is set up your microphone so that sounds up to a certain volume will not activate your microphone, which is really nice. You can do that to disable things like your keyboard enabling your microphone. It's really nice. And I would recommend you set this up if you're really serious about your video. We'll click OK. All right, now we should be pretty much ready to get going. We're going to go ahead and open Minecraft to, to test this out. My PC is getting a little bit of lag from Cam Studio. I think that's because it doesn't use all the CPU cores that it should be using. Uh, we'll go ahead and go just into the sandstone test map. I'm probably going to be lagging quite badly. Yep, but that's fine. All right. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and use a handy dandy program called Sizer, which you can download for free as well, to resize my Minecraft to 720p. There we go. And what that did was it just made the Minecraft window 1280 by 720 so that it records in the right resolution and we don't end up with a video that's scaled up to 720p instead of actually being 720p. Then we want to go back into OBS, right click in the Sources pane, Add, Game Capture, and you can see there's a bunch of different stuff you can add here, window capture, monitor capture, images, image slideshow, text, video capture device, or game capture. We're going to do game capture. Uh, from there, you can also set up stuff like a webcam, if you want to have a face cam. And we'll call that Minecraft, because that's what it is. Select Java W, Minecraft 1.7.4, and we want to select stretch image to screen. Hit OK. And now what we want to do is go ahead and preview our stream to make sure everything's working okay. So we'll hit preview stream. And as you can see, exactly what I'm doing in the game client is being mirrored into OBS. We can stop the preview. Alright, and then whenever you want to actually record a file, all you have to do is hit start recording. And it will produce the file to the same place where you set it up in broadcast settings. I'll go ahead and demo that for you real quick. There we go, we're now recording a file. Stomp that. And we can go to the videos and check that out. 
and it's right here. And as you can see, that looks just fine, even though I had the bitrate reduced a bit for my streaming settings, because I don't really use OBS to record. But uh, OBS is still a very capable program, and I may actually end up switching over to it, because I feel like it's a bit more competent than Fraps is at this point. But that's all there really is to it, guys. It's quite simple once you get used to the interface. And OBS definitely has uh, the horsepower behind it to fit all your recording needs. Hope you guys found this useful. Download links for the programs I used in the description. See you guys later. Deal Games, signing out.